forest fire, and ecosystem disturbance. Forest ecosystems are found in all parts of the world. In California, two examples of forest ecosystems that are close to the San Francisco Bay Area are redwood forests and oak woodlands. We rely on forests for the oxygen we breathe, the lumber we use for building, and as places to enjoy and learn about our natural world. Many other living things also depend on forests to provide them with oxygen, food, and shelter. Healthy forest ecosystems have a diversity of plants and animals that are important in preventing soil erosion and maintaining healthy watersheds. But sometimes, forests and other ecosystems are disturbed by natural events or human-caused actions. An ecosystem disturbance is when something happens that affects how an ecosystem functions. Fires, droughts, earthquakes, floods, deforestation, and overgrazing are some examples of ecosystem disturbances. Some ecosystem disturbances can have negative consequences, such as loss of habitat and loss of food, which affects the ability of organisms to survive and reproduce. Fire is an ecosystem disturbance. Some disturbances to an ecosystem can have positive consequences. Fire can be destructive, but in some cases it can help an ecosystem. For example, when a forest fire occurs, a meadow ecosystem can be created. If there were never any forest fires, there might be fewer meadows, which could lead to less biodiversity. Wildfire in the Bitterroot National Forest, Montana In California, some trees, like the redwood, depend on fire to produce seeds. For example, the redwood tree drops its cones during a fire. The fire clears the underbrush and allows sunlight to reach the seeds from the cones. All seeds need sunlight to grow. Fire also help, fires also help return nutrients to the forest so that life can return. A forest ecosystem is usually able to fix itself over time and recover naturally after a fire. Occasionally, people plant trees or introduce animals to help the ecosystem recover. The image that follows shows an example of a forest before and after a fire. On the left is the forest before the fire. The center image was taken a year later. The image on the right was taken 10 years later. <clears throat> before the fire, one year after, 10 years after. This should say immediately after the fire. Natural or human-caused fires. Fires are sometimes caused by humans and at other times they occur naturally. A lightning strike during a drought may cause a natural forest fire. A campfire that burns out or of control or a faulty electrical system on a house are examples of human-caused fires. The burning of fossil fuels has contributed to increased, long-lasting drought conditions. The drier environment also makes forests more vulnerable to destructive wildfires, whether natural or human-caused. Not only is the forest ecosystem affected, but many people have built homes in forested areas, causing costly damage and fatalities to human communities as well. Carbon dioxide levels increase when trees and other plants burn, and this contributes to the warming of the atmosphere. If roots are destroyed and can no longer hold soil in place, erosion and landslides can occur, permanently altering the landscape. Debris from the fire can flow into streams and rivers, causing flooding and pollution. Many wild animals are harmed or killed, and their habitats and food sources are destroyed. A forest after a fire Ecological disturbances, like fire, are a part of the natural world. However, we need to consider how we contribute to the severity of a disturbance by our actions. Stop and check. Identify an ecological disturbance other than a fire, and explain why some ecosystem disturbances can be beneficial and others harmful. What can people do to prevent or lessen the effects of an ecosystem disturbance like fire? Imagine that there were no more fires, how might populations of plants and animals in a forest ecosystem be affected? <laughs>